Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to insert text onto your pages under this system using an alternative to HTML called Markdown and why in the world you would want to do that. I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and the story starts with developers maintaining readme files in their code repositories wanting to format it to look pretty in web browsers for other developers but not wanting to take the time to use these tedious HTML tags that use pointy brackets and have to be closed at the end. So this clever developer named John Gruber, a fellow, a fellow Drexel alum, uh, had the idea to just do minimal uh, syntax, markup syntax to your text files and run them through an interpreter that converts them to HTML. So what does that look like? Well, it turns out it looks like uh, text files. Uh, the, you put the underlines underneath the things with equals in this case to turn it into a headline or asterisks to make bullet points and once it runs through a display parser it comes out as regular HTML. And so how are we going to incorporate that into our, our code? Well, under Pygreen and the Mako templates it is pretty much this easy. So I will copy that and then I'll go over here and I'll vim my index.html and then I'll uh, jump down to the iframe and then I'll hit O for a new line and then I'll just paste that in there and then I will escape colon W for save and go over to my page and do a refresh and we should see a new headline down there. Look at my title. Okay, so a little point about uh, Markdown, switching from underlines, uh, switching from H1 to H2 would be the same as replacing equals with just minus signs. And it doesn't even have to be all the way, it just has to be enough to let the parser know the thing above it is supposed to be a headline, so watch. That's an H1, now it's an H2 and so on all the way down to like H6. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the text that I prepared for this at the end of yesterday's daily journal and I will go over here and I will delete that, delete that, hit I for insert, Command F, nope, Command V, and uh, paste it in. Uh, this is very good. I, all I do is I save it now and you'll see I'm spared the tedium of formatting this and putting in uh, opening and closing paragraph tags. Normal HTML would just sort of blur all that together into, a, into one big paragraph. What does Markdown do? Well, it spares you all that work. So. Now this is way too much text for, for my home page. I don't want to scare people away. I just want a little bit of text to show. So remember that readme.js that I had installed into the template system a while back? Well, if I jump to where that begins, and I'll actually put it outside the markdown block because I don't want markdown to take effect on it put the article tag in there. Although Markdown does not interfere with your normal HTML tags, so I could put it in there, but I'm doing it this way. Escape, Shift G to jump to the bottom of the page. Close my article tag. And like magic, I should now have a read more link. Voila, read more. I can configure this. I think I want even less text to show. Um, but configuring Read More to work the way you'd like to will be another tutorial. Um, mission accomplished. Thanks for joining me. Share the video and don't forget to subscribe.